I didn't expect this. So let's talk about Nocta, which is Nike's sub-label with hip-hop superstar Drake that's proven to be quite a success since it launched with both the sneakers as well as the apparel selection consistently selling out and oftentimes demanding big amounts on the resale market. We now have the latest effort from Nocta and it's once again a brand new sneak model. My name is Josh and in this video I'll be reviewing the Nike Nocta Glide. So these sneakers officially released on September the 15th worldwide on the sneakers app as well as other retailers for a retail price of $160 or €160. Euros. They first actually released on the Nocta website and they were just sitting on the site for several days. I didn't want to buy these from the Nocta website just because the shipping costs to Europe are quite high so I thought you know what they're sitting on the Nocta site so they should be pretty easy to get when they do release in Europe. I waited till release date and found out very quickly that I was wrong. These sold out pretty much instantly especially in bigger sizes i took an l on sneakers and pretty much every other website but later in the day on release day i was notified there was a late drop at another retailer based in europe shout out to escape notify for the notification on that and if you guys are interested in joining the best sneaker discord group in europe that i've been a part of now for the last two years and i'll be honest the number one reason why i'm able to get almost every sneaker i review on this channel for retail if you're interested in joining the link is in the description and all of my viewers do get to bypass the waitlist if you join using that link. Let's get back to the shoe. Now this is already the third sneaker model we've seen Nocta collab on with Nike and already the second brand new sneaker. We did have the Nocta Air Force Ones drop but we also had the Hot Step Terra and I have to admit that shoe is a lot more popular than people give it credit for and now we got the Nocta Glide and it's pretty surprising to see Nike already give Drake two signature sneakers because in the past Nike has only really ever done signature sneakers with athletes. They have of course worked with entertainers before such as Travis Scott but it's not until later this year that we're actually finally getting a Travis Scott signature sneaker, the cut the check ones. But Drake's already got two signature sneakers which is pretty interesting. And the one thing that I can say about all of the Nocta sneakers so far is that they seem to be heavily inspired by the 90s. The Hot Step was inspired by the Air Terra Humera and these right here, the Nocta Glide, I think you guys can probably guess what sneaker inspired these. It's kind of obvious if you know your Nike history and that is the Zoom Flight 95 also known as the Jason Kidd shoes because it was the sneaker that he mainly wore on the court. In fact the first time I actually saw Drake wearing the sneaker was of course at a Raptors game sitting courtside and it seemed like everyone who saw him wearing that shoe pretty much thought he was wearing a different colorway of the Zoom 95s. It seems like even Hype Beast got confused. The most notable feature of course taken from the Zoom Flight 95s are these alien looking eyes that seem to be on the midsole. You got all these oval shaped pods. The one major difference being that on the Zoom Flight 95s you had three oval shapes whereas on the Nocta Glide we have four. There's one little extra one on the heel. Also I just thought of this. Why does Glide sound like the most Drake sounding shoe ever? Like Drake's definitely the type of guy that would call his sneaker Glides. Let's start off with the box. You get a pretty basic looking box here. There's some gray on it. You got the Nocta logo on the bottom half of the box and also along the sides. I can't seem to find any information online about what this Nocta logo actually means. If one of you guys know, definitely leave a comment. And getting into the shoes. Now on first impression, the shoes definitely felt a lot more lightweight than I expected. It looks like a very chunky and heavy looking sneaker, but because this upper is made almost entirely out of mesh, it's actually pretty lightweight. The Zoom Flight 95s meanwhile had leather on the upper, so that is also another big difference with this model. And most of the upper Upper here is done in a black mesh. Also the entire tongue features that same mesh. And you get these very interesting looking details on the eyelids. These kind of look like little hockey sticks. I don't know if Drake's Canadian background has anything to do with that, but it does have Nike spelled out on them and it's a very nice visual detail. I also have to say that the eyelids definitely look pretty sick when looking at the shoe from the top down. Also check out this super clean Nocta logo on the tongue. It's a jeweled logo. I think it looks great. 
straight. It's pointing in different directions on the left and right shoe. You also get a pull tab at the back of the sneaker, which is the same pull tab that you see on the Zoom Flight 95s as well. And below the black mesh, you have some more mesh, except this time it's done in a very interesting carbon fiber looking knitting pattern. When I first saw pictures of the shoe, I actually thought that the bottom half of the shoe was entirely made out of carbon fiber, but that's not the case. It's actually a mesh that's kind of made to look like carbon fiber. I think it's fire, it gives the shoe a very futuristic looking vibe. Also really like the way the Nike logo looks against it, almost looks like a 3D logo. The logo has been stitched into that mesh. And moving down to that crazy midsole, we got these bug eyed or alien eyes looking midsoles with those four pods. The biggest pod in the middle has the Nocta logo debossed into it, which I hope you guys can kind of see on camera. So what is your opinion on these pods? Are you happy to finally see it on a lifestyle sneaker? It's obviously the most hated or loved aspect of this shoe. So if you don't like these pods, you're probably gonna just hate the shoe overall. If you're gonna be wearing these out and about, it's definitely gonna be a conversation starter. The midsole also includes a zoom cushioning unit in the forefoot of the sneaker just for some added comfort. On the outsole, you get an icy outsole here with some yellow traction pods. It does feature Nike's G-Tech traction technology, which is something you usually only see on basketball sneakers. I also have to say I love the chrome insole on these. That looks really dope. Look at that thing shine. The Nocta and Nike logos looking very, very clean. I would describe the sneaker overall as more of a mid-cut shoe. It's definitely not as high as the Zoom Flight 95s. Even though it's very much inspired by basketball and basketball culture, Nike very clearly states on the website that these were intended for lifestyle purposes. It does have the Zoom cushioning and the G-Tech traction. However, because the upper is almost entirely made out of mesh, I don't know if I would want to hoop in these. I would probably just use this for lifestyle. Let's get into sizing on these because I'll admit sizing on this is pretty strange. So I actually got these in a half size down for my true size. So I normally wear a US 11, got these in a 10 and a half. And from a width perspective, they feel fine. However, I'll say there's definitely quite a bit of heel slippage that I'm experiencing with this shoe. But I'm afraid that if I go down a full size, then it just would be way too tight for me on the midfoot area and around the toes. So a half size down does seem to be the best size. So I guess tie your laces really tight on these. I would say with this sneaker, even if you have wide feet, you're better off going down half a size. Like I said, the heel slippage problem is gonna be quite noticeable if you go true to size. And just to give you some sizing reference, I go true to size in most other Nike sneakers, such as Nike Dunks and Air Max ones. I go a half size down in Air Force ones. Everyone has different feet, so I don't know if it's just my feet or not, but this sneaker definitely, I would say, fits pretty weird because the heel slippage is there. The front of the shoe fits really good, however, so yeah, try it out for yourself, guys. And looking at what these are going for right now on the resale market, you can see that some of the bigger sizes are going for just slightly above retail, not too much. We're talking like 30 or 40 bucks over retail. It is a hated or loved shoe, so I'm not surprised at all by how low the resale prices are. While the Hot Step Terras, I would definitely say can be used as an everyday sneaker with these, you're not gonna be rocking these every day. So yeah, you can go ahead and decide if the prices on these are worth it to you. As always, I will leave a StockX link in the description so you guys can cop. There's also quite a few other colorways that seem to be dropping at some point this year. In total, there are six which have already leaked. We got this red and black colorway. Love how the swoosh looks on that one. The midsole also is quite different with multiple colors. You also get a lime green colorway with similar color blocking. Those two are probably not gonna sell out, but there's also gonna be an all black pair, which looks pretty tough. A clean all white pair with some more silver pods on the midsole. And then you have a colorway, which kind of looks like an inverse of the sneaker I'm reviewing. You get white mesh at the top instead of black. Let me know which of the colorways you guys think are the best. If I were to pick one, I would say it's probably these. Overall, the Nike Nocta Glide, I think this is a pretty good second signature sneaker from the Six God. It's not easy to take one of the most polarizing basketball shoes of all time and make a lifestyle version of it, but I think this is a pretty good attempt. It's a bit different. It's not for everyone. For me, I do think it is a bit bulky looking, which was the exact same criticism I had about the Hot Step Terras. So even though I am probably one of the biggest Drake fans out there and I just cannot wait for the new album, it seems like when it comes to Drake sneakers, I guess I'm just not really gravitating towards them. The first time I actually saw these in person were a couple of months ago when I was in London. I was at the Cortez drop and I saw Clint, the founder of Cortez, walking around in these and I just thought, 
thought, wow, those actually look pretty fire on feet, especially wearing them with a track suit like he was doing. So not gonna lie, I definitely think these look kind of hard on feet. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Nike Nocta Glide? Are you planning on picking one up? If you found the video useful, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm dropping content just like this every single week. I'm doing at least three videos a week sometimes, guys. So hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Also, the links to my Instagram and as well as my sneaker podcast, you can find that in the description. Very active on both those platforms as well. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.